When Darwa first approached me, reference coming up with the ground bait range, it was something that I jumped at the chance. It's something that I wanted to do for a long time because I know the importance of having the correct ground bait. And when I say the correct ground bait, I mean the correct colour, the correct breakdown speed, and the correct amount of the right ingredients. And you'll also hear me when I'm talking about ground baits, talking about the power of the ground bait. And by this, I mean the fish meal content. A lot of people that know about ground baits know that sometimes in the winter, a ground bait can be too powerful. And sometimes in the summer, the ground bait can be not quite powerful enough. And coming up with a mix that can be used all year round was the number one priority for me. I didn't want to say to people, we well, use half a bag of this and quarter of a bag of that. I want to say to them, if you're going to go bream fishing, use the Advantage Baits Green Bream. If you're going to catch big carp in the margins, use the big carp going to the river and so on. I wanted the range to be quite self-explanatory, but also very, very usable. And it's also important that I had utmost confidence in the ground bait itself. I've already touched on some of the re real key important factors of having the correct ground bait mix. Obviously colour is the number one thing. In clear water, in the winter especially, a nice bright ground bait, they're not going to come over that and you do want a darker ground bait. A lot of the ground baits have just got that darker tinge. Breakdown speed is absolutely massive for me. All good ground baits I've ever used over the years do one thing and they've got one thing in common and that is they break up very quick. Attracting fish with the fizzing and the bubbling and the activity of the ground bait but also releasing the loose offerings that are in the ground bait and then holding the fish. Vitally, vitally important. Obviously then the ground baits have got to be quite easy to use, very easy to mix up. It's all things like this when I was travelling to the factory and trying to get the mixes dead right you know, that, that I had to take into consideration. Bearing in mind the final product, you know, the, the idea was that I'm happy with it and I'm going to use it for 100% of my fishing. And in the range now of the seven ground baits, that's exactly what I've achieved. We don't have so many in the range now that are non-fish mill, it's only really the river one. But again, what a fantastic ground bait it is. I've won matches on rivers like the Y and so on with this ground bait. Again, you can mix it, it's very, very sticky. Throw it in in a rock hard ball, but it breaks up. When ground bait breaks up, it attracts fish, releasing the loose offerings and holding fish. So that's the river one. The next one is the sweet fish meal. Again, there's a little bit of hemp, quite a lot of coriander, about 7%, but only 7% of fiber fish meal, which is the strength of the ground bait. So again, for roach, skimmers and hybrids, it can be a very, very good ground bait. Obviously, the big carp speak for itself. Um, massively high food content. It's going to hold big fish, whether you're on a long pole, in the margins or on a feeder. It's going to hold big fish in your swim. It's very sticky, breaks up quick, so you can get a lot of particles in, like meat, corn, casters, dead maggots, baits like that. It holds a real lot of bait. Method feeder, again, was one that I you know, put a lot of work in. Again, you want it to break up quick. You want it to release that little bit of a cloud, drawing fish in. And also, with method feeder fishing when ground bait, you want to be depositing that ground bait right on the spot. If you've got a ground bait that doesn't break up, a lot of it can come off on retrieve and create that line, and that's no good. Accuracy, 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 and ground bait that breaks up on the spot again, is utmost important. It's something that we incorporated very well into the method mix. It's also available in black for those dark, you know, those winter days when you want that dark, dark mix. It's absolutely perfect. The next one is the all round. Again, the names sort of explain what they're for. When you're not really sure what you're going to be catching, you might be going to a mixed venue as far as species are concerned. And the all round will cover, like I say, all eventualities. I've caught skimmers on it, crusions, tench, multitude of different species, and it's my go-to ground bait when I'm not really sure. Again, this ground bait's also available in black for when those days, you know, the, the water's ever so clear and you want that real, real dark mix. Going on from that, you've obviously got green bream. I've got a bag of it there. Um, it's one of my favorite ground baits. I've caught so many silverfish. And this was one that, like I say, is a bit close to my heart. I do a lot of silverfish fishing in the winter, and it's one that I got exactly right. 
so happy with the fish meal content and the way it mixes up. And like I say, with a lot of it, the proof is in the pudding. And not only me, but a lot of anglers in this area that have used this have caught so many fish on this ground bait. <clears throat> the range wouldn't be complete without an F1 mix. Again, I've got a bag there. You can see beautiful fluffy mix, a very high content of crushed pellets, but again, mixes up lovely. You can use it wet, you can use it dry, you can use it in the edge, even on a method feeder. Caught a lot of big F1s and small carp over this in the margins as well, in conjunction with baits, like I say, like worms, dead maggots and so on. That's the range of ground baits. A little bit of an in-depth sort of view over them, the contents, what they're actually for and what I use them for. And also, more importantly, the sort of work that went into creating this range of baits. Vitally important that people know this because it's not like something we've gone to a company and just got it off the shelf, that ground bait will do. These have been tailor-made for all aspects of, of, of English match fishing. And by using this range, you know, you, you, you are pretty much covered. One little tip that I do, if I want to darken any of my favorite ground baits off in the winter when the water's clear, like the F1 or the green bream, just take a little bit of one of the darker mixes, whether it's the, the black all round or the black method mix and just mix it in. It's quite a powerful dye and it will just darken it off really, really nice. So just one little tip there for you. But like I say, the Advantage Baits range of ground baits covers all my aspects of fishing for, for my English match fishing, all types, right from you know natural venues to commercial skimmer fishing, right the way through to carp and F1s. It really is a, a range of ground baits that I've got utmost confidence in. And the weird thing is for me with confidence, I have to catch fish and that's what I've done with this ground bait. But also I get a lot of confidence through seeing what other people have caught using the Advantage range bait. Um, it gets fish in your peg, you get a lot more indications and ultimately you end up catching a lot more fish and being a match angler, catching more fish is of utmost importance.